Hey guys, here we're out here at Lake Texoma. I got my umbrella rig on. It's the one that I talked about in my lures to use video. I uh, just had one on, just uh, it fell off just before I got to the boat. It unhooked itself. Um, but the way I'm using it today, instead of just trolling it around, I'm actually casting it out and letting it sit for a good five, 10 count. Uh, looks like we got some fish that are running around the boat here. And then I'm just slowly reeling it in and it seems to be working, so uh, we'll see what happens. It's one of my old saltwater poles that I use in Florida. It's actually uh, uh, the 6500 pen, and um, it's got a 12 pound test, because sometimes you can hook two, two or three fish at a time. It's got a 12, you know, 12 pound test line on it. Uh, it's pretty hardy, uh, medium to heavy pole, and uh, it, ha it handles this lure really well. Oh, it's, and it's easy to cast when you have a spinning reel versus when you have like a like a bait caster. Some people can cast bait casters real well. I can sometimes, but not when I'm throwing this big old heavy rig. So I'm gonna. Oh, we got some fish biting over here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna motor around and see what we can get into. All right. So here I got my trolling motor on. I can just drive us over to where I see the fish. And then I'll just go ahead and drop this down and can adjust my speed accordingly with my trusty remote. It's a good way to good way to prospect. If you're looking for the bigger fish, sometimes they're down there real low. Um, the, when we were catching shad this morning, we caught some really monster shad and, uh, I don't think that's what they're biting on right now. So we threw them down there and we had no luck. Um, I, I'm sure there's some fish out here that can eat those things, but that's not what we're seem to be catching right now. So I'm just going to use the trolling motor to troll around through here. We still got a bunch of stuff popping. Um, see if we can't find, uh, can we see if we can't find some bigger fish. Uh, we've been around here. I mean, the fish are just everywhere. They're popping on the top. We see them on the on the uh, depth finder, the fish finder. Uh, they're hanging about 10 to 20 feet, and then they're coming up at the top periodically, chasing bait. So once we find the right speed and the right lure, I think we'll be able to get on some and stay on some for a little while. So there's, so there's several ways you can use an umbrella rig. One of the ways is the way I'm using now, where we're just putting it in the water and we're just trolling around. So we're trolling. I got the trolling motor on, um, and uh, we're just trolling. Uh, pick, just keep changing up the speed, see what speed they like, uh, changing up the depth. And then another way is just if you see fish, you can actually cast it and kind of reel it in. Um, it's a little harder to cast this thing. It's a big, heavy monster. It's got a bunch of lead heads on it, but that's why I'm using this stout pole so that when I cast it, um, I got a hit, but nope. So I'm just going to drop it down and just let it go. Sometimes people like to count, you know, I think it probably drops a couple feet a second, probably five feet a second, um, or go to the bottom and reel up two or three times, however you want to do it. Um, I'm just going to open it up for about 10 seconds and then stop it and see where we're at right now my, my trolling motor goes from one to seven right now i'm doing about a five um which is it's not quite it's about a knot i'm a one mile an hour that's what i'm doing um yeah, i know the fish swim much faster than that so i'm gonna bump it up a little bit see what we do all right so we're out here we're, i got the umbrella rig down this is one of the three essential striper lures that I say you use to catch striper with and um, you can go find it on my three best three favorite striper lures or the three most effective striper lures video uh, go check it click in the link you can buy it yourself uh, it's, for the price it's one of the best uh, umbrella rigs on the market